My Marantz have two problems. First, the power. When I click the power off, yes, there it is, the clicking noise. I think that could be the speaker relay. I'm gonna clean the speaker relay. And uh, if it's not the speaker relay, it is probably uh, the end capacitor and one of them you have two i will show you in another video how to replace those two big capacitors and uh, but for now um, what i did i cleaned all the pot meters i cleaned all the pot meters and i still uh, have this problem with my sound sometimes uh, well for one thing uh, if if i want the correct balance i have to place my balance like this and that's not good and uh, suddenly uh, one of the speakers one of one of the channels uh, drops uh, or it uh, I heard this terrible uh, cracking noise over one channel sometimes over two channels and uh, and all my pot meters are clean so I cannot make them cleaner than they already are I uh, I did them three times so what is the next thing what you're gonna do if you still have a uh, a problem with uh, with your sound with with one of these things i just mentioned so when one of the the the, the channels is softer than the other one or when the the the, the noise is let, let let me give you an example Well, I can't give you an example now because the problem doesn't occur all the time and uh, well if you have uh, an old stereo and uh, and you have this problem you, you probably know what I mean in 9 of 10 cases the problem is a dirty relay so what is a relay and where can we find this relay in the amplifier I will give you some pictures how a relay can look like I will show you how this relay looks like in this receiver it looked like this it is the uh, the type here you can see the type it's the type ms4u 24 volt dc volt how can you check if it is the relay well one of the things if if you push on one of the sides yes you will hear the sound will gone in that case it is 100% the relay a dirty relay i already opened this thing i will show you how to open it well you just take a nail and you put the nail underneath here yes and then you make a this movement yes and you do the same on the other side so you work with two nails and with two hands yes I can't show you because in one hand I hold my camera so uh, one here and uh, one here try to put it in the middle so in here yes and you just make this and you do it from both sides and then this thing will loosen and you take it away and there it is the speaker relay most of the amplifiers uh, who have a sound problem uh, is caused by this thing let me close down the amplifier and what's what happening I, I will close it by three two one that goes you see that's the speaker relay okay it works all fine if it if it wouldn't work you wouldn't have any sound so now I will turn on the amplifier look what's happening three two one that goes okay so it's a sort of protection a protection for your speaker so something goes wrong in the uh, in the filter caps uh, your speaker won't blow up I'm gonna show you how to clean this thing. There, there, there are two things you can do if, if this thing is dirty. 
first you can replace it yeah I think a relay will cost you about 12 uh, euro 50 but if you're gonna change this relay you have to open it up from the back side you have to shoulder the old one loose and to put the new one in and not everybody is that handy to to change a relay because I think eight contact points you have to shoulder and to, to loosen and to shoulder back again so that's not very easy for everybody so I'm gonna show you how you can clean this speaker relay on a very simple and easy way everybody can do it so pay attention how are we gonna tackle this problem well for that you need some paper some 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 yes this this is a uh, an old uh, uh, card I get from somebody and uh, well you just cut I think four will be enough you just cut four of these these piece of hard carton paper and uh, okay one more okay in this case this paper I will put here yes on this side and on, the, on, on this side on both sides so I will show you but first this paper I have to spray with my with my contact spray my magic my magic contact spray the uh, the Scandia the chemistry electro contact spray you can buy it in Holland in America they you will use the oxide and uh, most people here they use a, uh, a spray that's called uh, contact 90 or contact 60 but it is not that important as long as the spray doesn't leave any residue so if, if you're gonna buy a spray test it in the shop spray it on spray it on your hand and if it leaves any residue it's not a good spray this spray is good it's uh, I tested it out it doesn't leave any residue so it's clean and safe to use uh, the only problem with this spray is that you have to shake it for one minute and that's phew. okay so and then you, you you spray your cartons yeah you spray them all but first start with this I spray it on both sides so I spray it on both sides yes I put the paper between the uh, between the context all till the end okay still the end now and I turn on my amplifier looks what's happening okay and if that's happening I just take back my this paper I don't know if you can see it there we go so just put the spray in and take it back as you can see there's a little bit dirt on the paper I will do it one more time no I will do now the other side the other side when you turn off the amplifier Okay, and I do it again on this side. Okay, well, I, I take a new paper and I do the same with the new paper. I will do it several times. I think this paper is a little bit too, I don't think it's thick enough. I think I need some thicker paper, but. I will try it with this one and I will try the sound out. Let me see. Spray it. Spray it on both ways. Yes.
bit I just take the paper and uh, I uh, I bend it double to make it thicker you know so I and I spray it again and I think I think the problem is solved Iets bouwen op Facebook of vergeleken met, met, met Google Maps, zoals een goed voorbeeld. Hè? Elke site kan Google Maps kaartjes. Dat is een stukje dank. Dankzij zo'n API. En uh, daar krijgen ze 30 uur voor en daar ja, zie je echt de meest rare dingen altijd uh, gemaakt worden. Die zijn nu al bezig, die gaan de hele nacht door. Uh, en morgen om 4 uur uh, krijgen we die presentaties te zien. Die, die presenteren één minuut wat ze doen en daar krijg je meestal geen. Uh, niet net zoals een gewone taal spreken. Nee. So anyway, I think I I I I did it good. I uh, yeah, this is actually I don't hear any cracking sound anymore. Ik hoor meer talen die hebben zeg maar dus dus dat je een taal ziet en je hoort dat. That sound what you hear now. That's uh, something else. That is the problem of the uh, the end capacitors, the bit, the two big ones. I have to change those, and uh, I discovered something else on this amplifier. I don't know if you can see it. I will try to close it up. Uh, let me. Okay. So if you can see, uh, this capacitor is leaking. It is leaking and how did I notice that well what's under the capacitor it is shiny and an old amplifier like this it can't be shiny on the bottom because dust takes over the place so this is leaking material what you see here the shiny thing is leaking material so uh, I decided to uh, to change all of these capacitors from the amplifier section all of these I will change. It's not very easy job, but I will change and I'm, I will make a video for you later. And I all also will change this, the orange types, the orange and the black. I will change them all. Yes, I will I have to order them piece by piece. And uh, I, I can show you how to replace it. I will not remove all these wires. Look all these wires. You have more here because and you have also here wires because look how many one two three yellow uh, uh, two green two yellow uh, two red here I have three red so if, if I, I'm, I'm gonna loosen all this this print plate I have to loosen all these wires and the problem is it's very easy even if I will make a picture from the wires how they are before I loosen them it's very easy to make a mistake you can you can't make a mistake uh, to put these things in if you if you know that this is the min you just put the new capacitors in, in, in the same way you take them out so that can go wrong but if, if I take all the wires off look here it start here in this corner yes and it goes like here look all the wires here yeah and you have more wires here I can easily make a mistake by by switching one wire and then I have a big problem so I won't mm, do this I just when I'm gonna change these these capacitors I just open the bottom and just one by one I will turn off and on the complete amplifier that's the only way I'm I'm gonna do it and uh, I will also uh, re will replace the two big filter caps they are here you can see them here the two big filter caps they are 10,000 microfarad and uh, I will change them and uh, I have to order them uh, like I have to order these but for now I showed you how to clean a uh, a, a dirty uh, relay speaker relay and uh, and when that's done, you just take your vacuum cleaner and you just vacuum all the dirt what's left from the paper or the sandpaper residue and uh, you vacuum this all away before you put back your uh, cap, your protection dust cap because this you have to put back this relay is very sensitive for dust and, and dirt so this is the dirt cap sometimes the dirt cap is they have another color sometimes it is uh, you can see through it so this one is black 
Anyway, uh, if the problem isn't solved, the sound problem with cleaning it with the paper, you can use a little sandpaper, screw papier, a little sandpaper, a very light sandpaper, and uh, you just will have to take them one only one time because it is, uh, and you, you can use it instead of the. Uh, the electro contact spray if you don't have this in, in your house you can also use a uh, a, a sandpaper screw papier and uh, this also will do the job and then you click this thing back on and uh, well that's it that is how you clean a speaker relay very simple very easy everybody can do this and uh, you don't have to be a very big handyman to do this the only thing yeah what is important is where you have to look for you know, not every speaker relay look like this one. And anyway, from the inside it looks like this, so it's very easy. And uh, just find your way. Most of the time they are close to these two uh, copper uh, springs. This is two big copper things here. Most of the time they are close to those two. And uh, well, that's me for now. I hope... Uh, if you have a problem with your uh, amplifier, the same, the same problem, the speaker uh, problems, the, the sound problems, and uh, I'm sure when you clean your speaker relay, uh, most of the problems in, uh, will be gone. And uh, if you love your uh, equipment, it's worth to take time for it. And uh, you can also, like, like I told you, you can also renew the complete relay and uh, it's not expensive but it's a, it's a, it's a bigger job and uh, I prefer to do it this way and I'm sure most of you also will prefer this way so thank you for now don't forget to subscribe on my channel and uh, that's me from Holland thank you bye bye